left shoulder movement in the golf swing, pros versus amateurs. Do you want to know what the biggest difference between the best players in the world and the amateurs is? Well, in this next video, I'm going to show you exactly this key move of the left shoulder that could be the reason you're struggling in your golf game. This is Troy from HittingItSolid.com. Let's get into it. Okay, let's talk about the left shoulder movement in the golf swing, pros versus amateurs. And I'm going to go through the right things that you can do that are really going to make a big difference in your game here. So the first move I'm going to look at is in the back swing. And this is obviously another big key. So if I'm set up to a ball here, typically with amateurs, what I see with their left shoulder, when they go back, the shoulder doesn't move back either enough or it moves back too flat and what I'm saying by that is they'll turn like this they might not make a full turn the shoulder is hanging back here a bit more now with pros they generally will get that left shoulder back right under that chin area there and that's a big difference they do they get that right under that chin in that really great position but an even keyer position I'll show you this from down the line. This is a huge one, so pay attention to this one. This is a, something that I see all pros doing, a lot of amateurs doing incorrectly, which gets their swing on a really poor swing plane. So if I'm set up this way, hopefully I've got this camera angle right. A lot of amateurs will do this with their back swing. They'll turn. And I don't know if you can see there that my shoulders and that have turned really flat and I stood up in my swing. Let's try that again. So you can see that I've stood up. So instead of staying down relative to where I was at address, now this is what pros do. When they turn, their left shoulder gets lower than their right distinctly at the top of that back swing. And that way they're able to keep those shoulders on a really good plane. So this will show it really clearly. This is amateurs. See how flat that golf club gets? This is what the pros do. You can see how the butt of that club's pointing towards the ground. So they get their shoulder, they get that left shoulder lower on that back swing, and you can distinctly see that club pointing towards the ground. So they maintain that distinct angle. So that's a big key the pros do on the back swing compared to the amateurs. So if that looks like you on video, that's something you can work on really easily from home and make great improvement in your game. Now the downswing, this is another huge one. So as we go to the top, a lot of amateurs with that lead shoulder, when it gets stuck under their chin, if they get to that position, when they start the downswing, it stays on the chin or their chest area a lot longer and it moves up. This is what most amateurs do, it moves up in this sort of direction like here. And they sort of, this is with an iron, but you, you can get away with it to a point with the drive, but for an iron, it's critical. Fix this up and they'll look something like that. So the shoulder, left shoulder is going up and getting them in a stuck position. Now, this is what the pros do. As they go to the top, as they start their downswing, that lead shoulder, you see that it separates from my chin area and my chest, it separates really quickly. And it ends up past where it was at set up, close to the target. So what I mean by that is, if I'm set up here, you see my left shoulder at the moment is roughly somewhere down on top of my lead leg. What the pros do, particularly with their irons, as they make their downswing, that lead shoulder will end up further to the target on the downswing at impact. And that's because they want to compress the golf ball and they know they need to get their body slightly laterally shifted towards the target. Left shoulder over. They know that's how they can press the ball. So they make sure that left or lead shoulder gets over to this side and that really helps them compress the golf ball. Now the final thing to think about, and I sort of touched on that there with that left shoulder, with amateurs, once they get to impact, 
they just tend to go sort of up in that position there. They get in that sort of stuck scoopy position, particularly with the irons and the left shoulders moving up. What the pros do, as they get that left shoulder over on that left side, it moves up and back around. So it sort of moves in this circle up behind them. So as they hit the ball, it moves up and behind them. And that's how they get that nice balanced finish and a real big difference between pros and amateurs and how they hit the ball so consistently. So I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. You can practice all of these moves at home, slow and deliberately. It's gonna make a huge difference in your golf scores. I'll see you soon. Drop a comment down below if you've tried this left shoulder movement in the golf swing to help you with your scores. Maybe you've tried it before, it hasn't worked for you, but you've tried something else that involved the left shoulder that's made a big difference in your game. Drop a comment down below, I will reply to every single comment. There you have it. Now you know the left shoulder movement in the golf swing, pros versus amateurs. Now very important, right above here I'll have a couple of additional videos. One in particular is going to talk about the right shoulder, how that moves in the downswing. And this ties in with this left shoulder movement, so really important you see that video and understand how they work together. Now below the video I'll have a link to my free three secret moves video. Make sure you click on that link, get a hold of that. If you have any other questions or comments, please let me know. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.